Hey, what's up everybody? It's Johnny Ray over here with Herbal and today we are going to be talking about the banana yucca. Habits and Characteristics The banana yucca, also known as daytail yucca, soapweed, blue yucca, Spanish dagger, or Spanish bayonet, is a native plant that could be found most commonly in the southwest of the United States like Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Texas, Utah, Nevada, and California. It can also be found in some parts of northern Mexico. It grows in zones 7 to 11 but can sometimes be in 5 and 6 depending on location and altitude. It is cold hardy to minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit when dry. It could grow well in well-drained soil that's either dry, rocky, sandy, or poor. It grows best in full sun but can also do well in part sun. Depending on the elevation and temperature, the banana yucca blooms between April to July, so middle of spring to about middle of July. The plant is also a pollinator, and when it produces fruit, it attracts insects, birds, and deer. Description The plant can grow a height of up to 4 feet and a spread of 6 feet. It takes a long while for the plant to get this size and it is more common to see a soapweed with the height of 2-3 to three feet with a spread of 3-5 to five feet. The leaf blades can usually be anywhere from 30 centimeters long to 100 centimeters and can sometimes even be longer than that. The edge of a leaf is sharp and rugged and can easily cut you if you are not paying attention. There is a fiber that hangs off and spirals off of the blade's edge that resembles frizzy hair. The leaf curves inward, similar to a celery stick, and comes to a point. The leaf blade is usually stiff and sturdy. The daytail yucca has a very short trunk and it often appears to look like it does not have one at all. As I said earlier, the blooming period of the plant is between April through July, depending on where the plant is located. The stalk can grow a couple feet taller from the plant and the flowers are usually white petals but can sometimes have a purplish tint to them. And the yucca flowers usually tuck their petals inward during the day and when the sun dawns, the flowers tend to unfold and release their scents, attracting the yucca moth, who then comes to pollinate and lay her eggs. Edibility After the initial flowering, the flowers grow into a fruit that resembles a banana, thus where the plant gets its name. The fruit can also sometimes look like okra that is fat and stubby, or look like a swollen cucumber that's misshapen. To tell when the fruits are ripe, gently squeeze the fruit and the fruit should give in a little. The fruit should be soft, but not mushy. The fruit can be eaten raw, but may cause undesirable bowel movements. The fruit is usually baked or roasted, and when it is cooked, the taste of the fruit is said to resemble that of a sweet potato. The seeds can be scooped out and left to dry. Once dry, the seeds can be ground up into a powder and used as a flour. The ancients used to mash up the fruit and shape them into a disc and let them sun dry to turn them into an edible cake patty. Utility The leaves produce a fiber that can be used to weave baskets. Also, they can be used to make rope and shoes. The fibers can also be used to create brushes and in some cases have been known to be used as a thread and needle. The roots of the plants can be used as soap. Thus, this is why the plant also has the name soapweed. If you guys like this video and the information I have provided and would like to see more content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I have a lot of things planned for the year 2020 and the year's just started. So I would love for you guys to become a part of this community that we are going to build. And uh, let's just take it day by day and see where this goes. See you guys in the next video. Peace.